And we're live! Welcome back to part 9 of the Ghost of Tsushima Deep Dive Gaming Commentary. Jin is going to enjoy this hot spring and reflect on his father. I'll never forget the day he was killed. I could have saved my father. If only I was older, stronger. If only I wasn't so afraid. I'm your friendly neighbor Super Antonio and please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you would enjoy seeing the other video games I play and more of these deep dive gaming commentaries where I overanalyze and focus on the details. I like to play this game in Japanese, it seems more authentic to me. And I'm also attempting to teach myself Japanese, so immersing myself in the language has to help. And finally, if I'm gonna learn Japanese, you're gonna learn Japanese. Let's get started. ビュニオヤスタメにある薬が向かっているのですが間に合うかどうか病人はどこだ野営にいる流民です病に侵され救いの手を待ちわびていますもうこの手は筒まで伸びておるな街道も危ういはずだその薬を守ってやらねば First things first, we need to pay our respects to Kashini Temple. A little bit of climbing, a little bit of parkour. These are optional side missions that reward charms and amazing views. Lots of climbing, lots of jumping. I'll show you some highlights. and see what I mean by amazing views. Thank you. 
Let's move on. Moving on, we can also follow foxes to shrines. Not as challenging as the temples, but they are so darn cute. Picking up mid-action, we have this fallen outpost here. I believe Jin was looking for a Mongol leader to work on unlocking that last stance. There he is. Leaders are easy to spot as they have fancier armor and full helmets. The last stance for us to unlock is the moon stance. Note, kill or observe. We could sneak in like a ghost, if you will, and observe the leader and then fight him. I believe we would get double points that way, but I have yet to test that theory. Besides, Jin prefers to charge in swinging. Is that it? There's one more around here somewhere. No show. There he is. No show. And we earned a technique point. Nice. Jin trying to look heroic, and Random Horse messing up our shot. What's next? You are almost guaranteed a confrontation between wherever you are and your destination in this game. It's good fighting practice, and as I have said before, I do love the combat mechanics in this game. <laughs> 
And finally, we had to burn down a locking base. Lots of odds and ends in this update. We need to eliminate the war camp general, reclaim the stolen iron, we can use the iron for weapon upgrades, we get to keep that, and recover the Sashimono banners. As a bonus, we can kill an enemy while concealed with a smoke bomb, which regrettably, Jin did not do. This isn't off to a great start. Jin needs to pick things up. Those shield guys can hit, and they do a lot of damage. Look at our health here. Perfect opportunity for a smoke bomb here, but the red mist has descended, and Jin isn't thinking very clearly. Come <laughs> on! 
Another one of those shield guys. Don't love those shield guys. Very emotionally satisfying taking out those archers. Probably says something bad about me. Also, Jin is a mess right now. And here's the general, note the fancy golden helmet. Nice, that was fun. We have a bunch of stuff to collect in this yurt.
Random Supplies, Iron, and the aforementioned Sashimono Banner. Moving on, we have more of those jokers to deal with. There's the last banner. And finally, we have to blow the place up. Good times.
I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Jin needs to get back to the missions and story mode. He has an island to save. I'll see you in part 10. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we shall meet again in the next deep dive.